The House of Representatives is urging the federal government to put in place measures to checkmate the outbreak of Lassa fever in some parts of the country to prevent the spread of the disease. The House also noted with concern the fact that the disease has claimed lives and many are hospitalized. Following the consideration of a motion sponsored by Representative Jerry Alagboso, the House also urged the federal government to vote more funds and resources for research and development in the health sector. The House knows that the recent outbreak of Lassa fever in all AGA of Imo State, which, according to the government of Imo State, I claim the lives of three persons. Why seven others were hospitalized, and also in a body state, we has claimed the lives of many health and non-health workers. Consigned by the recurrent outbreak of the deadly viral disease in the country, and the apparent non-proactive approach of ministries of health, both at the federal and state levels, to prevent the outbreak of the disease, all the federal government to put in place measures to checkmate the outbreak of the disease in Olu AGA and other parts of the country to prevent the spread of the disease and assist infected persons who are currently hospitalized in the areas. The Nigerian Senate on Thursday said questions surrounding their capacity to deny the appointment of the president have been answered as the federal high court has ruled that the Senate has the authority to do so. The Federal High Court in Abuja ruled that the Senate is conferred with the authority to ensure the choice of only suitable and credible persons for appointment to the office. The court gave the ruling in determining the suit challenging the Senate's authority to deny an appointee to the office of Chairman of the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission under the EFCC Act. What is important is that the court has given a judgment and that judgment is saying clearly that the Senate not only has the power to confirm but to reject when it deems it necessary, as in the case in question. And so the court held properly that we have that power. And in fact, that by the intentment of the law, we are not meant to be a rubber stamp. So, and I think this is very important and is consistent with the position of the Senate of the Federal Republic of Nigeria and indeed with the practice of all democracies that we always hurry to go and borrow a leaf from or to make examples with. And I think even in our own case, I must say that there are cases we have rejected that we are replaced. So I think these cases are very clear. And so we are pleased with this judgment. We want to salute the Nigerian judiciary for always rising up to the occasion to protect our democracy and to deepen our democratic processes. By this judgment, for those who have been worried about the fact that the MPC never met, I think this is a window for the MPC to see the light in meeting. If the executive does the needful, provide another Nigerian of credible character, of which we have millions of them, one well, right, 80 million population, I think even by arithmetic error, we should be able to get good people. So it's our hope and prayers that our amiable president will definitely find this judgment in order and will be submitting very, very soon another nominee to carry on with the good work of anti-corruption especially now that we are very proud of him as the AU anti-corruption crusader or ambassador. We join him in this fight. We support him in all the way. And we believe in doing the needful, 
Nigeria will be better for all of us. And following this court judgment, the next step is now that of the executive. What step do you think the executive will take? Well, let's have your thoughts and views on any of our online platforms. The addresses are on your screen. And when will the 2018 budget complete its journey through the National Assembly? Well, that is a question that we will have to take into next week because this is where our journey on the gavel for today ends. Thanks for staying with us. I'm Landry Lassese. Bye and take care.